Number one is for you to have a clean bedroom. That's number one rule. Start with a clean room. How can you sleep in a room that is filthy and disgusting, that all the surfaces of your dressers, your night table are dirty, full of dust, obviously creating allergies, and your floors are dirty, and then if you're stepping on the floor with your bare feet, you're getting your feet all dirty, and then you're going into your bed and you're bringing that dirt in your bed. And also, change the sheets in your bed. You have to have fresh sheets in the bed. You know, at least change the sheets in your bedroom once per week. Clean, like I said, clean all the surfaces, clean your dresser, wipe your dresser down, clean the floors, make sure that your room smells fresh and it's clean. That would be rule number one. Number two is for you to use blackout shades to sleep. This is very important because if you sleep in a room that has a lot of light, then you cannot be comfortable and you cannot sleep comfortably. If you have blackout shades and you put everything dark by the time that you go to sleep, your brain is going to create melatonin and melatonin is the hormone that you need to go to sleep. So this is very important. Please use blackout shades to have a comfortable sleep. Number three is for you to sleep in a cool room. Studies have shown that people who sleep with the temperatures in the room to 68 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 20 degrees Celsius, are able to achieve a deeper sleep and they're very comfortable and they're relaxed. The people who sleep in rooms which are warm and they're hot, those people are tossing and turning all night long and therefore they do not have a comfortable sleep. Number four would be for you to sleep in a comfortable mattress. This is very, very important. If you want to be able to rest and sleep at night, you need to have a mattress which is very comfortable. Because if you do not have a mattress that is comfortable, I guarantee you that you're going to wake up every single day with a lot of body aches and pains. So do yourself a favor and buy yourself a mattress which is comfortable. My mattress that you see here is a memory foam mattress and I, and I have a very restful sleep. Number five would be for you to sleep in a pillow that is comfortable and offers support to your head and neck. Now, if you have a pillow that is old and the pillow is flat and it doesn't bounce back, then it doesn't offer any support to your neck and your head and you're going to have a lot of neck ache when you wake up and you're going to have a lot of pain. So do you see the pillow that I'm showing you here? This one is a, it's a memory foam pillow and as you could see when I'm touching it, it bounces back. That is a good pillow to have because it will offer support to my head and to my neck. Therefore, I'm going to have a restful sleep. Now, you see the pillow that I'm showing you here? This pillow is all yellow because these are drool marks. This is an old, old pillow that I kept for this video. And uh, this pillow is not good anymore because it does not offer any support to my head or to my neck. So if you have a pillow like that, toss it away and buy yourself a new one that is comfortable for you. This way you're going to save a lot of trouble for yourself because you're not going to wake up with a lot of pain in your neck and you're not going to be tossing and turning all night long. Number six for a good and comfortable sleep is for you to have clean and good quality sheets. What I mean with good quality sheets is sheets which are very soft to the touch and to your skin and that they're not harsh like sandpaper. Some sheets are so harsh to the skin that it actually feels like sandpaper and therefore it's not comfortable for you to sleep on. So if you have good organic cotton sheets or you have satin sheets or anything that is really silky and soft to the skin, I guarantee you, you're going to have a very comfortable sleep. 
Number seven is for you to have a good quality duvet or comforter. This is very important for you to be able to sleep and be relaxed and be very comfortable. Now the duvet that I'm showing you here is made out of goose feathers and is super cushiony and is super soft and is very very warm for me to sleep in at night. This is something that is good for the cold weather because it really does keep you warm. Now there are also duvets that they sell just like the one that I'm showing you that they're made out of feathers but they are for warmer climates. Now make sure that when you purchase a duvet you're going to purchase it according to the climate that you live in. Like for example, I have three duvets in my house and I use one for the summer, I use one for the spring and I use one for the winter. And this goes according to the temperatures. And I have duvets which are extremely comfortable, they're very cushiony and I can really sleep and relax at night. Number eight is for you to have good quality lighting at your fingertips. And what I mean is for you to have a good quality night light in or little lamp in your nightstand. This is very important. I'm not talking about the light that you have on the ceiling in your bedroom. Because if you need to wake up in the middle of the night and you have to turn on the light, you're not gonna stand up in the darkness, trip over something, get hurt and turn on the light. If you have a little lamp in your nightstand is super easy to just tap it and just wake up and go about your business. So this is very important to have in your bedroom. Number nine is for you to have an alarm clock on your night table or nightstand. This is very important because you can always see what time it is. You can wake up in the middle of the night, just tap on it, look at the time and it's good to have one that has the date and the time so you know exactly what date and what time it is now you can also use your telephone as an alarm clock it's up to you whatever you choose but it's something very important to have in your bedroom number 10 is for you to have a tissue box on your night table or nightstand this is very important because sometimes people are sick and they wake up in the middle of the night and they need to blow their nose so they need to have a tissue box right next to them. You're not going to stand up in the middle of the night and just go looking for a tissue box somewhere else around the house. It's very convenient. It's right next to you and you don't have to go anywhere. Or maybe you're those type of people which are watching a movie and you cry. Well, hey, you have a tissue box or you use it for whatever you use it. I don't have to tell you, you know what you use it for. But it's like I said, it's very important for you to have a tissue box in your bedroom. So be happy and love the room that you sleep in. There's nothing better than at the end of the day when we're so tired, we walk into a bedroom that smells fresh, everything is clean, everything is neatly organized, and we go into a bed that is super comfortable. This is just something that is priceless. To me at least it's something that is priceless. You're gonna be super relaxed for the next day and you're gonna thank yourself. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to give us a like and to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. You're free to share this video with your family and your friends and thanks for watching.